Welcome to Panels and Borders. I'm Dominic, and a bit of news dropped uh, yesterday about the new Joker standalone film. Uh, some images were released, and uh, so I wanted to uh, talk about the images. So first of all, I'm going to read a little bit about this article from uh, ET here, about these uh, photographs and a bit of news about the movie itself. Uh, see eerie first look at Jacqueline Phoenix in Joker standalone film. Production has begun on Joker. Jacqueline Phoenix, who will be playing the clown prince of crime, was photographed on set in Brooklyn, New York on Sunday, looking decidedly thin and sporting medium-length hair. In this particular scene, he clearly hasn't embraced a life of crime quite yet. Instead, 43-year-old Phoenix wears slacks, a sweater, and a tan jacket while carrying a brown bag and smoking a cigarette. The street is littered with trash, recreating an 80s-era Gotham City when the film is set. Based on this shoot alone, the Joker looks to be striking a far grittier take on the beloved character. Unlike most recent DC films that involve the maniacal clown, including The Dark Knight and Suicide Squad, and the upcoming project intends to create an origin story for the legendary villain. So, uh, they released two images. And uh, so here are the two images I'll show uh, one at a time. So this is the one with him carrying the brown bag and uh, you can see like there's some kind of amusement park or something in the background. And uh, you know, there's garbage littered around there. It's kind of a very gritty looking uh, look to the city. Can't really see too much in the background. And uh, he does have like quite the creepy, almost uh, stalkery look to him there like someone you would be kind of suspicious of if you met this guy in real life. So they've done a good job of making him look creepy. And uh, now here's the profile picture that they released of him. So this, I'm guessing, is what he's going to look like before he becomes the Joker. This is his pre-Joker look. And uh, so it's uh, an interesting look. The hair kind of reminds me of the Heath Ledger Joker, actually. It was kind of styled this way. So I'm, I'm really curious to see what he's going to actually look like when he becomes the Joker. And uh, so they are, I guess, going with the... He's a failed comedian, I think, for this movie. Instead, that he was always a mobster. So my thoughts on the article and uh, that... I think this is going to be an interesting movie. I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to play out. I want to see what they can do with a lower budget for making a grittier movie with a character like the Joker. Hopefully, I'm really hoping they don't PG-13 it. Um, I'm hoping they go a little bit more hard R, not hard R, but you know R-rated, kind of like in uh, well, like Deadpool for this movie. I think that would be good. Uh, as far as Jokers go, my three favorite on-screen Jokers are the is the Jack Nicholson Joker, the Joker from the Batman animated series, and Heath Ledger's Joker. And uh, I like the idea that the Joker was always a criminal. He never just became a criminal when he turned into the Joker. I never really cared much for the he was a failed comedian, stand-up comedian. I really like that version of it. I kind of like the version you saw in the animated series where before he became the Joker, he was still like a crazy guy. He was still like in with the mob. And then it just really set him even that much more crazy when he became the Joker. And then same thing with the original 1989 Batman film. He was a, always a mob guy. He was always like a really, you could always tell he was psycho. And then when he becomes the Joker, like that inner psychoness really comes out. And then, uh, and then the other version, I like the Heath, I like what they did with the Heath Ledger Joker in, uh, the Dark Knight, you didn't know what his background was, just his origin was a complete mystery, you didn't know anything about it. So it's uh, interesting. So this one, it's, I kind of like the, I'm kind of mixed feelings about the whole Joker origin. I kind of like the idea that he's mysterious, but then I kind of like the idea, so I'm kind of a little bit torn there. Um, I, I think maybe the, the mysterious thing, that worked for the Nolan films, uh, but of course he had an origin in the Batman animated series and in the 1989 Batman film where he fell off into the tank which was very close to the comics because I, he was a villain called the Red Hood before that and then he fell in the tank and then he came out as the Joker and then went even more insane so um, so interesting news and it's interesting to see that it start uh, the production has begun and hopefully we'll get a few images of him actually in the Joker uh, makeup and see what kind of a Joker he's gonna look like that'll be kind of interesting to see 
So that's everything I got to say in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section, and I will see you at the next one. Thank you to all of my subscribers, and thank you for watching this video. And if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification when new videos are uploaded.